Star. If you're a contributor to QEX, then I want to talk to you. It may be that time of year, you know, time for you to renew your pledge. Well, your support last year helped us to buy the programs that you really love. But don't make it a one-time thing. Renew your pledge. Write to us at QEX, 4802 Fifth Avenue, Pittsburgh, 15213. Or call us at 622-1555. And if you've never pledged to QEX, well, you can call too. Do it today for great programs this summer and fall. This week on Video Spin, save the trees with Bruce Coburn. Or nuke them with the hardcore sound of ministry. Or just play, even if you don't know how, like Damas. All this plus music from the House of Freaks and Hugo Largo. I'm Scott Paulson. And I'm Tom Downing. Join us for the next go-round of Video Spin. Locally underwritten by National Record Mart. There's a new Britcom on QEX called Are You Being Surfed? It's one of the funniest comedies this booth announcer has ever seen. Before we go any further, Mr. Rumble, Miss Brahms and I would like to complain about the state of our drawers. There are... <laughs> what is it, Miss Grace? To what, Mrs. Slocum? Our drawers, they're sticky. <laughs> it's always the same in damp weather. Really? Miss Brahms could hardly shift hers at all just now. <laughs> Well, that Mrs. Slocum is quite the strange one with a real preference for those stairs. Employees and customers in this department store quickly find out just how close gentlemen's ready-to-wear can be to ladies' separates and underwear. Don't worry, though. Captain Peacock has got the entire situation under control. Before you pick up the hats. <laughs> hats. Blouse. Hats. Mouse. Catch Are You Being Served on QEX weeknights at 11. It's subtle British humor at its finest. Some animals bark, some meow, other beasts hiss, and many of them howl. But regardless of the sound any animal makes, the gentle doctor cares for all creatures, from aardvarks to zebras. Each week, the gentle doctor, veterinary medicine, explores the latest changes in the world of animal health care. It also offers tips for pet owners and probes the magical relationships between people and their animals. Join your hosts, Dr. Walter Wolf and Dr. Kathleen Barry, as they lead you across America on a search for the latest information on treatments and therapies. From high-tech laboratories in California to a bustling animal hospital in New York City, the gentle doctor surveys the many facets of veterinary care. It takes you past the waiting room and introduces you to the human side of veterinary medicine. Friday night at 8.30, here on QEX. Hi, I'm Mike Kalina, and I've been eating for as long as I can remember and loving every minute of it. And I've just returned from the ultimate dining tour of Europe as part of my new series, The Travel and Gourmet. We'll visit some of the top restaurants in Rome, Paris, Madrid, London, Amsterdam, and more. And I'll show you how to bring the flavors of these restaurants right into your own home the easy way. If you have a taste for something different in television, wait till you see what I have cooked up for you on The Travel and Gourmet. Thursday night at 9.30, here on QEX. The largest lottery jackpot ever offered in North America, $83 million, has people flying into Pittsburgh Airport from out of state to buy tickets. Doctors have continuing doubt about the chances of full recovery of the Upper St. Clair woman who was raped and beaten in New York's Central Park last week. In Pittsburgh's District 7, Councilman Jim Furlow faces stiff competition from at least two of his challengers in the Democratic primary. Good evening. I'm Wadeen Merriman. More on these and other stories from tomorrow morning's Post-Gazette in just a minute. From WQEX Pittsburgh, the News at 10, co-produced with the Pittsburgh Post-Gazette, made possible in part by the H.J. Heinz Company. With more than 50 affiliates on six continents, a worldwide provider of processed foods, and a leader in the dissemination of knowledge about nutrition, health, and weight control. And by USX Corporation, through a grant from the USX Foundation, Incorporated. I'm Tom Wazaleski, state editor of the Post-Gazette. 
Pennsylvania lottery fever has infected the nation now that the jackpot has grown to $83 million. The largest prize ever offered in North America created long lines at ticket booths across the state, including the one at Greater Pittsburgh International Airport. One man from Michigan flew in just to buy 1,000 tickets. Some out-of-state players spent their flight layover standing in line for a chance at the Super 7 jackpot, now guaranteed to pay $3.2 million a year for 26 years. The line at the airport's only lottery counter began forming at 6 a.m. By midday, it was 50 players deep. Jane Gasvoda, who runs the machine, said about 20% of the players told her they flew to Pittsburgh just to buy tickets. Many of them were airline employees or had special flight privileges. Several players paid $500 to $900 for tickets, while others got angry for the 15 minutes or so that it took to ring up that many tickets. The Super 7 jackpot began reaching record proportions after six straight weekly drawings yielded no single winning tickets. Lottery director Jim Scroggins said sales have exceeded the state's projections. Although weekends were normally slow sales days, the contest on Saturday and Sunday did $13.7 million in business. I've been working with Andy Sheehan, who is in New York, covering the story of the Upper St. Clair woman who was raped and beaten last week in Central Park. How is she? Well, she's still in a coma, and doctors held their first formal medical briefing yesterday on her condition. And I think the best that can be said is that while she seems to be out of danger of dying, short of any catastrophic occurrence that we don't know about, uh, it's, it's not looking real good. Uh, they have no way of predicting when she might come out of the coma, and um, uh, if and when she does, they have no way of predicting how much permanent brain damage there might be from the attack she suffered. Her parents are in New York, aren't they? Did Andy talk with them at all? Or? He talked to the father, I think, mainly uh, uh, for a few minutes, and the family, there's been an interesting phenomenon uh, in, in a city that uh, is known for the aggressiveness of its reporting core in the competitiveness of the newspapers and TV stations. Uh, the reporters have apparently been uh, uh, unusually deferential to this family uh, from the Pittsburgh area, and they in turn have been quite gracious to the reporters. Uh, this morning the father said he wanted to make a brief statement to the reporters, and he asked Andy to get the reporters together, and um, he did so. And the father basically just said that they uh, have been overwhelmed by the amount of sympathy expressed to them by people from around the country, but particularly in New York. And uh, they said something to the effect that they were sure that if their daughter was conscious that she would be uh, just as impressed and taken by uh, all the care that was expressed. And Andy talked with Dr. Robert Kurtz, the assistant chief of surgery at the hospital, too. I think he explained more. Can you go into detail, any of the details on that? Yes, she has. She is in a, a coma that's somewhere between a, a light and deep one, uh, as evidenced by the fact that her limbs have responded to pressure and uh, to some of the tests they have done. They've been able to move. The pupils in her eyes have responded to light. Uh, her pulse rate, as had been reported before, went up when she first heard her mother's voice. So you can tell that some stimuli are getting through, but there's no indication of consciousness and um, there's really no way at this point of telling uh, whether her thinking ability, uh, her mental processes have been affected at all or will be affected by this. Her brain is still suffering from some swelling uh, that was a result of the beating she took in the head from both a metal pipe and a, a rock. And so it won't be until about Friday that they believe all the swelling will have gone down. And that will be sort of a critical day to test whether any of her brain functions are better than they have been. As long as the swelling's there, that has a definite effect on the ability of the brain to respond. Once that swelling is gone, uh, they'll be able to get a better idea of uh, her reactions to various stimuli, her prospects for coming out of the coma.
Councilman Jim Furlow is running for re-election in District 7. What are his chances, Tom? Well, at this point, it appears that um, Furlow is still the favorite in the race, although uh, with still three weeks to go before the May 16th primary, I don't think his lead is anything he can take for granted. In particular, he has uh, two of the six uh, competitors that he has. Looks like they look like they could have a chance at an upset. One of them is uh, a native Lawrenceville resident, uh, Bernie Burns, who is also the president of the city fire union. And the other one is uh, Linda Noska from Highland Park. She is the daughter of former uh, state senator Stanley Noska, and she worked for about seven years for a uh, former councilman, Richard Gibbons, and is uh, pretty well known, especially among the uh, heavy Polish uh, American segment of the district. Could you tell us uh, more about District 7? Where is it? And what kind of a district is it? Well, it ranges uh, from uh, some rather conservative areas, such as Lawrenceville and Polish Hill, kind of uh, goes up the Allegheny River and includes uh, Morningside, Stanton Heights, and then at the, uh, so it would be the northern end, or we might say the eastern end, uh, around Highland Park, uh, becomes more affluent, middle class, and uh, more liberal in its uh, political outlook. You mentioned Polish. Are there a lot of Polish people yes, in that area? Yes, there's a area? significant segment of uh, Polish, uh, uh, Irish, and Italian, I believe, are also uh, significant. Uh, Burns is uh, Irish, and he's expected to do well in his native uh, Lawrenceville. Now, uh, there's been some controversy over Furlow's residency because due to a last-minute uh, redrawing of the lines last year by the Apportionment Commission, they redrew the lines between District 7 and District 9, and uh, this last-minute change put Furlow into District 9, which is a predominantly black district, and one in which he, as a, a white politician, was not thought of to have too good of a chance. So he had to move into District 7. It was only a move of a couple of blocks, I believe, but uh, some of Furlow's opponents are trying to use this against him. They're trying to, he's a Johnny come lately into District 7, which he says is, is nonsense because he only had to move a short distance. But uh, that's one of the things that's being used. But Mr. Furlow has been very vocal on a, a wide range of issues, I think. Right. As he. Uh, touched on the issues that are important to the people in District 7, do you well, I think? think? I think to a large degree, uh, economic development and jobs is, uh, is certainly an issue there, as in other districts. But he uh, was a strong advocate of a new uh, shopping center, which is, uh, I believe they just broke uh, ground. You may be a regular call it a pet talk. You like what we do here. The cheekiest thing we can do now, before we go into the movie, is to ask you to support us. 621-3610 is the number. It's the last couple of nights of pledge. We're about $3,500 short. We need to hit that pledge goal. Goal was $36,000. All of that money goes into one thing, and that's programming here at this television station. Does not go into the floor manager's pocket. He's over there wondering what to do with some <laughs> pledge money. A uh, $240 pledge would be $20 a month. If that's too steep, if you think that's more than you can ante up, then ante up whatever works for you. We really don't care. The pledge levels are suggested. You know that at the $35 level, you get Pittsburgh Magazine, and at the $60 level, there are pledge premiums. So if you've tuned in to watch this travel show, there are premiums on the list. There's a Michelin guide uh, to Europe. There are maps. There are all sorts of things. As a matter of fact, uh, I happen to just have this right here in my back pocket. This is at the $180 level, and it comes with a massive map of Europe. We will no doubt uh, come up with other pledge premiums that go with travel because of the new Travel Talk show and the confidence we have in it. West Penn AAA is confident. They've underwritten the show. They're big fans of what goes on on this station. So let's, uh, let's widen out here and take a look at these two beautiful things and listen to one station manager remind you at the 60, the 90, at the $120 level, you too can help pay and help support the most extraordinary, the most eccentric entertainment buy in Pittsburgh television. There isn't anything else like us. We've gone out of our way to be different than the parent station. They're sort of the dowager queen of public television. They do all of the things that public television stations should do and are famous for. We do the news at 10. We do job help. We're about to start aging assist. We've just started travel talk. We do the most interesting, low cost, community programming, service programming you can, that we can find. We do it to professional standards. We do it with enthusiasm. We do it with a touch of bravura. 
And what we need from you is a touch of cash. We would like to hear from you. If you call 621-3610, you will discover it's a relatively easy task. I'd like to hear some of those phones ringing. The operators will spend 30 or 40 seconds asking you your name, your address, what your pledge level is. Out in the mail comes a big pledge premium packet to you with a laundry list. This, let me get, a, get my hands in there. The laundry list is at least this long, thank you, at least that long of pledge gifts. There are lots of things, lots of items, records, cassettes, toys, just, you know, all sorts of things. Uh, here's, a, uh, here's an EastEnders cup. If you're an EastEnders fan and you didn't catch that premium earlier, all sorts of things, lots of coffee cups. At the $60 pledge level for McNeil Lara, for example, you can get not one but two coffee cups. So either we're extraordinarily generous on that, or those happen to be a good load of very cheap cup, coffee cups. Whatever the situation, I'd like to remind you that if you were a charter supporter and a charter viewer of this television station, you remember we went on the air in 1986, you know we've brought you the best in foreign language programming on Monday night's Foreign Encounters, lo these many years. Tonight, Milos Forman's uh, uh, film about, uh, no, the, the name just went out of my head. Oh, loves of a Blonde. Loves of a Blonde. Loves, hey, Pip, Hello, you're back. Loves of a Blonde. Step I in. came into the right moment. You came in. <laughs> talk, talk to, we, we were, and it's a reminder, we were going to run a show on Czechoslovakia called The Long Wait for Spring, which because uh, we've re recalculated the amount of time it's going to take to run Pledge tonight, we are not going to run that show. If you want us to run that show, call us and let us know. We'll be happy to. Uh, the News at 10 gang is up in, coming back in part with some of the news. By the way, election results, 10 o'clock tomorrow night on this television station. We're wired to the county computer. We'll have the latest vote totals for you at 10 o'clock, right on the money. We'll tell you who won the mayor's race or who is winning the ra mayor's race Democrat. if it's undecided. We'll have all of the judges and all of the districts. Mm -hmm. However, 621-3610. Right now, before we go into the movie, connects you with us. Talk to me for a moment. Somebody out there, somebody out there may want, must want this magnificent premium. This is probably one of the primes we've got. The $240, $20 a month, this magnificent National Geographic Society book comes to you with our love and kisses because we don't sell books. We, we, we're not in the book business. We're there to say thank you very much. We're there to say thank you as much as we can to you, and here's one of our thank yous for $240, $20 a month. I think these, these premiums are absolutely superb. We not only ask you to assist us, and that is to come in and show that you like our programs, and phone 621-3610, we also give you a thank you, which is not any good manners, but shows how we feel towards you. So you come up, and we'll feel even better. Just let's have a pledge, let's get on with the whole thing, let's get off this pledging business, let's get back to the business of giving you TV, 621-3610, uh, make this man on my right out of picture smile. 